everybody, Mikey Cat Outdoors here. So what are we doing today? Oh, we're going to Giant City State Park. Woohoo, buddy! Start out here at the Visitor Center. Went on the Arrowwood Self-Interpretive Trail. Cool little loop. Had a lot of little trees that had markings on them. Very easy hike. Off on a trail. You can get over to the Post Oak Trail nearby. I went ahead and drove over there. Pretty little lake. Got a nice view of Devil's Stand Table Trail from above. Of course, everything is ADA accessible on this trail. Hopped over Devil Stand Table nearby. Pretty cool view, man. Climbed that once with some friends. It's Little Helper. Hello. Hi. What are you guys doing? Getting back from the trail. How was it? It was actually really nice. It was really pretty. Yeah. I messed up my knee. Uh oh, ooh, not bad. got some it's road rash. Not bad at all. Uh, hammock? Yeah, I'll get you your hammock. I'll come up here to the sign. So it says the rock was formed by differential erosion. So it's kind of neat when you see that. And way up there, people can walk around next to the highway. And be up on top of all that bluffage. On the trail again. Just can't wait to get on that trail again. And then over towards some of the shelters at Shelter 2. It's near the Giant City Nature Trail. Pretty cool little place if you want to do a picnic. Pretty bridge. Woohoo! Went over to the lodge. Got up on the water tower. 360, baby. Helper and her friends over here at the lodge. Looked around the gift shop a little bit. Ate dinner. Little family style fried chicken, man. A lot of cool things to see here. It's a beautiful lodge. Built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 30s. Well, time to go off to the campsite. Hey, everybody. So, it's after 9 o'clock out here at Giant City Campground. My little helper and her friends are uh, camping out their second night. I'm out here my first night. Had a lot of uh, lawnmower maintenance and stuff I had to take care of. Uh, it's a long, <laughs> frustrating story, but uh, got that all mowed in the cold and decided finally, yeah, I'm gonna come down here. Uh, passed up a group hike the opportunity this morning, but yeah, I just figured I was going to have to pack up and get all my gear and stuff, and I didn't want to wake up at 5 in the morning. So I slept in, did the rest of my grass mowing, got that stuff taken care of, a few other chores, and then 
got down here early afternoon, so anything's better than none. That's what I always say. But yeah, I'm just uh, gonna hang out and sleep in my hammock hitch in the back of my truck and got a spindrift sock on it, so it'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty boil. I'm gonna pour that bit by bit back into my Nile Jean. Help give me a nice little uh hot water bottle tonight. Good morning everybody. It's uh was a cool brisk 37 degrees when I woke up about an hour ago. I've been uh, sending a few texts out and letting everybody back home know I'm still alive. But a uh, little helper and her friends, they were camping out a couple sites away and uh, they were down here for two nights. I just came down last night and uh, I decided I'd hike a little bit and do a little filming. So it's great to be outdoors. You can see I got a uh, hammock hitch here on my truck, some campsites in the background, and uh, out here at Giant City State Park. So it's not too bad. Uh, there were some party yappers yapping until probably midnight last night and laughing out loud. They must have either been on drugs or really drunk, but... Yeah, it was kind of annoying. It's quiet hours or 10, but they were really loud. And, uh, oh, well, tried the Nalgene hot water bottle trick, put it between my legs, warmed up my core real well. That seemed to help. I was getting a little cold by the campfire when I went to bed and came in here. I was a little chilly, so use that hot water bottle and had it already warmed up, had it stuffed between my quilts earlier in the night. It stayed pretty warm, but uh, that kept my core warm for probably a good three hours at least, four hours maybe. But uh, this morning, yeah, it's body temperature probably at best. So I gotta get up and get some grub in me and warm up a little bit, get some hot tea going. And uh, <laughs> daughter and them, I called her thinking she was still maybe in her tent, but no, nah, they're out at McDonald's. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to kind of make some oatmeal and hot tea here at camp while they're uh, eating their Egg McMuffins or whatever, so I don't know if she'll come back and give me one or not. I asked her to, but eh, I don't know. Teenagers, she probably won't come back. They'll probably be out going somewhere shopping. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to stop yapping and uh, get up and get a few things done catch you in a bit so this was my uh, little cocoon last night have a war bonnet spindrift sock cocoon type thing over my hammock and uh, had it zipped up for the most part had a little air gap two quilts in there um, those are both from hang tight but yeah I was uh, and I still am a bit chilly this morning, um, I feel like I need a zero degree quilt, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's brisk out here. Whew. So, uh, <laughs> warming up in the sunlight just a little bit, I'm trying to warm my, uh, lighter up in my hand here. It's, uh, not flowing yet, but I got a, uh, a little bit of a breakfast tableau here I'm going to try to cook up. I got some apple cinnamon oatmeal, dandelion root uh, tea. I got some hot water here in my thermos. It's uh, eh, a little warmer than lukewarm. But it was from the faucet yesterday. Got my p -p 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 penguin bar. Let's see. What's a penguin's favorite ice cream flavor? Pistachio. <laughs> so that's what they got. A little joke on those things. Got a little thing of spam light and a little peanut butter. That'll give me some good protein to 
get me going. So that's what a penguin bar kind of looks like. A little wafer inside, but not really. It's just a crisp kind of chocolate goodness. Get my stove going. My daughter and her friends were out that way. And she's got her little hammock up. A little bit of life around camp this morning. People getting up, getting ready. Some of them heading out. Almost forgot the most important part, warming up my Spam single. <laughs> the water's getting pretty hot already. So I'm going to have that oatmeal nice and warm, that tea nice and warm. And you can see that flames are sputtering nice and cold out this morning. So you got the Iso Pro Mix. So, you know, regular propane, a little isobutane. Uh, one will flow and one won't when it gets cold, so that's why sometimes you'll see a mix like that. It makes it a little better for cold weather performance. Some stoves you'll actually have them inverted. Well, packed up camp and headed on over towards Little Grassy Lake. Out here at the Little Grassy Lake spillway. Comes down under the road there. Down quite a ways on the other side. Got a little boat dock down there. That's pretty cool. And yes, they're watching you. <laughs> nice lake. Not as big as a uh, crab orchard, but still respectable sized. We just got camp over there on that end. Well, everybody, if you like what you're seeing, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Get notified of new content when it becomes available. I'll catch you again in the outdoors. As always, thanks for watching.